Let's start by opening a denim material. I'll add base color preview. And although we do have a displacement map, we don't have a normal map. So let's see how to extract one from the displacement map. I'll add displacement so that we can see the extracted normal map. And to do this, uh, we'll use the extract tool as the method we select from displacements. And as a source, we select our currently open displacement map. The normal map was thus extracted. But now suppose that we didn't have a displacement map and we'd need to extract it from our normal map. I'll disable a normal map preview so that we can see the results. And this is done also with the extract tool. We first select the method from normals and select our normal map. The displacement map was uh, integrated from the normal map. Uh, some detail is uh, missing. Can increase the detail. And it now better uh, captures the detail in the threads. If uh, we'd be uh, using both the displacement map and the normal map in a rendering, uh, we'd leave the high frequency detail uh, for the normal map and uh, use a somewhat blurred displacement map with uh, only the lower frequencies. Perhaps we should make the range smaller. Okay. And this is how we extract a displacement map from a normal map and the other way around.